What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with a crazy card. It is a crazy card and it's Canyon Martin Galaxy Opal. So a huge shout out to Trelly401 on Twitch for letting me use this Canyon Martin card for this video. I will leave a link to his Twitch in the description. And yeah, so he kind of he messaged me earlier saying it was like, oh yeah, it'll be about, he's looking to do it if I wanted a gameplay, but it'll take about two hours. So I texted him and I was like, oh yeah, it's actually not that bad in Evo because there's a specific game you can do it in that really speeds it up. And he had not realized it and I ended up getting it done way, way quicker than he expected. So basically, the best way to Evo up this card is if you go to Spotlights, there are Spotlight Challenges. I'm not, again, I'm not sure which ones, but there are 50-point Spotlight Challenges here. Um, let me just have a look. Single player, triple threat. 50-point Spotlight Challenge. So basically, what you have to do, and it's on Pro Difficulty, which is super easy. So to Evo him up, I'm pretty sure you need um, three triple doubles. You need 100 rebounds. And you need 10 games of 50 plus points, or 50 points. So basically... What you um, need to do is just play, You it takes basically 13 of those 50 point triple, tri 50 point games. Or you, actually, you can probably get a triple double in, you can probably get a triple double in a 30 point TTO game, honestly. With 10 two point, you could, yeah, 10 two point assists, 10 boards, and then 10 points himself. You, so you could, so basically, you, in, you take 13 games of triple trash, all those spotlight ones, if you did any spotlight ones, you're in good shape. And you can honestly get them done like, what does it take? About six or seven minutes per game, maybe. Actually, no, you're shooting twos, so it's probably about 10 minutes per game. It takes about 13, so it's a little bit over two hours to get this guy from Pink Diamond to Galaxy Opal. So let's just see how what price this guy is currently going for. So right now, he's about 310k, so he's not cheap at all. And I rec let's see are there any Opals of him up. Let's see are there any Opals of Kenyon Martin up anyone that figured out this because it's been about three hours so i do reckon that there's a few so there are four up right now so yeah anyway we are going to go and look at this guy's stats right here as a galaxy opal card so as a galaxy opal the guy has got he has got 29 um gold 19 hops cast and shoot corner specials acrobat relentless finisher lob city finisher rim protector clamps hard crusher and deceptor intimidator Rewind Chaser, Pogo Stick, Post Move, Lockdown, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Fast Spray Finisher, Giant Slayer, Downhill, Quick First Step, as well as 29 Gold Badges, including, pretty sure Range is one of them. Yeah, Range is one of them. So stats-wise, he's got a really great post hook and fadeaway. He has got great driving dunk of 98. He's got a standing dunk of 98, 86 ball handle, got great block steal, perimeter defense, and interior defense. Got really solid um, offense and defensive rebounding, as well as... Pretty good speed and decent enough lateral wings. Only decent lateral wings. Like 86 is only decent. It's not spectacular. But it's still good. Don't get me wrong. It is still good. So, anyway. Now we're going to go on to the hot zones and release for this guy. And then we are going to get on to the game. So, this card is one that, again, you can make a... This guy's probably going to make a fairly, fairly substantial profit on the guy. Can't lie. Considering there's not many of them. And let's change the camera. 2k 110 there we go all right so he's got hot zones everywhere oh sorry just in two corners but his movement oh yeah his movement is nice on next gen that those hot zones the fact that he doesn't have hot zones at the top don't really make much of a difference and his release is really nice like it's siakam base and it's on quick so it's basically brandon ingram release oh yeah oh yeah this is greenable like, the whole thing is that you make you make a lot more whites from hot zones. But, I mean, if you're greening, you're greening. That's all I'm going to say. If you are greening, you are greening. And we're greening everything with this card right here. Obviously, hot zone makes that shot. It's released, though. Oh, oh yeah. This release is absolutely money. It's not the fastest release by any means. It kind of reminds me of what I expect Westbrook's release to be on. Be like on fast. But, it's a full bar. Still, though, he is an absolutely cash jump shooter. It's no by no means the fastest. I'm not going to say it's like Jameson, but in terms of like ease of timing, especially on this gen where it's not very easy to green, I mean, I think we give this... In terms of ease of timing, like we got to give this like a... Probably an 8 out of 10, a 9 out of 10 maybe, in terms of releases. All right, let's check out the, um, the Dribble 6. Pro 4 is awful. What's it between the legs? Uh, it's Pro 4 as well, is it? 
Dunking. Okay, that's just, I flicked up the analog stick, so that was just a safe dunk anyway. I assume he does get Showtime dunks, like, yeah, that's definitely a Showtime. So overall, the guy should be a pretty good card, honestly. Should be a pretty good card. So anyway, now it's just green one three. And come on, he can hit this from deep. Come on. Now let's get on to the game. That's better. So this card right here, lads, I'm telling you, he has something about him. He definitely, definitely has something about him. Like, his shot is good. His defense, obviously, is... It's good, the defense. I'm not going to say it's anything spectacular on defense. But, I mean, he's going to be, like, a more than solid defensive player. Like, the guy's going to be more than solid for that. So, Steph Curry and... Who do I want to use? I mean, I don't... I do want to use the dentist. And I also don't want to use the dentist. I got chicken, man. Actually, no, we want him a point guard, so let me put in Blake. Let's go Blake, Mikhail, and let's put in Kenyon Martin as our ball handler. Because it's mad. Like, I was looking last year. um, Because we couldn't have badges. Centers with gold, quick first step, go, or at least go quick first step, gold range, and gold clamps. We legitimately did not get a single one of those centers until, like, and, say, and pro dribble six. We didn't get any one of those centers till... If I'm not mistaken, like July last year, we've already got like four or five of them this year. <laughs> like we already have, not even four or five of them, we're probably close to 10 of them. But uh, also you can go, you can small ball center at Kenyon Martin. Oh yeah, he's Iverson's on him. Iverson's on him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, snatch back. Oh, green that. Oh, Kenyon Martin for three. <laughs> okay, he's got, yeah, he definitely does have something about him. That's the only way I can... That's my way of describing it. The fact that this dude is actually a beast. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's just get him caught. Get him stuck in something. Get him stuck in something. Oh. And he helped up with Iverson. Okay, we're good. Oh. Oh, I tried to pass it to that. It's my fault. Big board. That's wide open. And that's green right there. Let's go. He is straight up cash. The guy is straight up cash. Can't lie. Right, let's just drop back, Martin. That's way off. Big board, Mikhail. Oh, burst. Burst into space. And we completely mistimed that one. Okay, is he just gone? I don't know if he's there or not. Let's just post hook him. That's unlucky. Not quite sure if he's got deep hooks or not. I did not remember that from reading the badges. Okay, that is a missed shot right there. We did not mean to do that, but that's actually the one situation where Pro 1 actually works. And if we, if we made that layup, I was ready to christen this guy a top 5 card in the game. But, um, big board... It's wide open. And it's green again from Canyon Martin. That is three greens. Is that three greens? Or yeah, I think that is three greens. <laughs> Let's go and play another game right here. Man, this Canyon Martin, dude. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. He may not be the best of the best power forwards. <laughs> but 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 this release. This release is an absolutely money. It is absolutely money. That's the only way I'm going to describe this Kenyon Martin jumper. Base 75, I always say it. Like, there's a reason why people are so high on Ingram. He's like Ingram, but a billion times better. Like, I think that's probably the easiest way to describe him. He's like, imagine Brandon Ingram, but imagine if he's like 100 times better than Brandon Ingram. <laughs> that's kind of the closest thing I can... Um, the closest way I can like describe... Him. It's like, imagine if Ingram had like a million times better defense, gold range, and could dunk better and just do everything better. That's basically what you're getting. All right, let's see who we are playing right now. Do not get 70% glitched. Do not get 70% glitched here. I'm always worried playing this gen. All right, pretty easy matchup. And he's coming up to Derek Rose as well. And the fact is that like, he can be a small, like, he can be an elite small ball center. He's like a way better version of Chris Boucher card that came out yesterday. 
He's like a way better version of him. Like, he's got good enough length. Like, 6'9", you can get away with using him a center. Like, AD is only 6'10". Let's not forget about that. Let's not forget about that. Like, he's only an inch smaller than Anthony Davis. And in a lot of ways, he's better. Like, in a lot of ways, he's better than Anthony Davis. Obviously, there are a lot of ways Anthony Davis is better than him. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's better than AD. But, like, the fact that dude can play center is huge. Give me that. And it's green again. The guy literally, literally, he's, he doesn't know how to not green. He doesn't know how to not green. That's the only way I can describe it. Like, all he does is green. Oh my god. Like, you guys know me on this gen. You guys know how bad I am on this gen of timing. He doesn't miss. The one I completely mistimed. There was one of them I tried to pass out of it, and another one where I hit, got hit with a lag spike where he shot a, a late. Anytime we're having been lagging, this guy literally just doesn't miss. Okay, it's fine. Well, can he hit that? I mean, it's not a bad release. I didn't green it, but it's not a bad release either. Okay, let's just... You got him. I was like, is that Derrick Rose? I mean, like, I can just post spin or back down that Derrick Rose if I really want to. The weird thing is, is that, like, if this was 2k19, we'd be all using this dude at a point guard. <laughs> Full guard. Like, that is the crazy thing, is that... If this was 2k19, he would be everybody's point guard. Can we snatch back on him? First, right to the basket. I mean, no question about it. He would be the point guard of every team. So, like, you know, to be honest, I'm glad for position locks. I really am. <laughs> because imagine having to run against this guy at point guard every single game. Oh, can we spin Duncan from there? Nope, we can spin, jump shot him, and he greens the spin. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not going to go as far as to say he's the best card in the game. But I mean, he's in the conversation. He's in the conversation on this gen, especially just the way the dude feels. Quick stop. Oh no, I accidentally pressed an extra button. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dunk it on him, dunk it on him. Or make the finger roll. Alright, he's got post score takeaway. I want to see, or take over, not take away. I want to see where he can post up Karam, honestly. Shoot that. It's GG's anyway. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's give it to Kenyon Martin. Um, can we post up from here, maybe? And that's good. Didn't even need to green it. Did not even need to green it. This card is a joke. He's actually a joke. I'm so great shot. That release doesn't seem half bad. 17 on quick does not seem half bad. I thought it would have been a lot worse than Robin. I need to use Robin on my um on my account. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Unlucky. Ah, we got the ball stripped. Alright, this day I just need to win the game. Good block by Robin. Or good dunk by Robin. Okay. Nope, we didn't get hit. We didn't hit him on the screen. Can we get the dunk? Yes, we can. Good job there by Kenyon Martin. Can't lie, like, he's a lot. I thought he was going to be good. Did not think he was going to be this good. And, like, again, yeah, I get it. It's only TTO. This is only a showcase. But you can see what a card is about. Like, you can see, like, 90% of a card is based on how its animations are and just how the card looks in general. And I am telling you, it doesn't matter what gen this guy is on, like, He's got the burst on current gen. Obviously, he can explosive on next gen. Oh, can we green that? Yes, we can. All he does is green. He's out here making current gen look like next gen. He's out here making current gen looks like it looks like it's next gen with the green window. The guy. <laughs> it's the easiest release I've ever seen on this gen. Just shoot the ball, cause I'm gonna win anyway. Like it doesn't matter. Like he's not even in a hot zone. That's a bad shot. Oh, that's a leaner. That's definitely not a shot he's hitting. Okay, shoot, he's got 73 right of three. Dive at that. We're good. Ah, come on, I wanted to get a fast break spin dunk on them. Okay, let's... Oh yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him. 
Oh, it's bit. That's bad by me. That's bad by me. It's an air ball. All right, let's just end this game here. Let's just go and end this game quickly. Okay, let's drop back. Good defense, Kevin Lo or not Kevin Love, Kevin McHale. And he's just too fast for Robin. He's too fast for Robin. Easy dunk. I mean, I'm impressed. I can't lie and say I'm not impressed. And I can't lie and say that this dude right here, he's top tier. He's top tier. He's 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 S tier. He's probably pushed. Like the last week or so has pushed Danny Granger out of S tier, honestly. Like today's the 12th. I'll probably, Monday's probably on my tier list is gonna be. But like he's pushed Danny Granger well out of S tier. I reckon I'm probably gonna make tomorrow like the best and worst value point guards, but like he's 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 pushed Granger at S tier. He really has. He really has. And that's a sign of a good card when... You guys know how much I love Danny Granger. Like, it's actually... Like, it's been... I've made no um, secrets on how good I... There's, like... I've absolutely said it to everywhere. Everyone. Everyone knows how much I love Granger. But, man, this card is different. So, this card's crazy. So, basically, he has told me to put him up for auction. So, send him to his auctions. And let's put him up for 100k. Do not do what I did with Paul George and accidentally put him up for 24 hours. Starting a bit at 100k. There we go. So let's see what he is currently going for right now. Let's see what Kenyon Martin is currently going for. Galaxy Opal. There are only three of them on the market. And again, the fact that it's been like 40 minutes from now, so there's only 20 minutes, and nobody figured out the triple threat tactic. Nobody figured out that tactic because you can do that in like two and a bit hours. And it's been three and hours and 20 minutes. Nobody figured out that tactic. So, um, yeah, this is the fourth one of these up. I am um, incredible. Absolutely incredible. That's the only way I can describe this card. Like, it's a two hour Evo. This guy is worth 350k. Like, he is ridiculously good. And the fact is that if you can get that pink diamond card, if that pink diamond somehow ends up as a buyout, you better believe that this not that hard Evo is going to be is a must buy. If he somehow ends up as a buyout, not even if he ends up as a buyout, if he ends up at 150k, I still think this is a must buy. I really do. Because he is one of the best power forwards in the game. Straight up. There's no question about it. Just the way the guy shoots, just everything about him. He is one of the top three or four power forwards in the game lateral quickness a little bit iffy but should look that's it and it doesn't matter what gen his release is equally as cash on next gen i've used um brandon ingram enough to know just how cash this guy's release is on next gen so yeah that is pretty much it lads that is the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and a huge shout out again